Good day, girls and boys. Danny Stewart from BassJapanDirect.com with another direct sound recording of another um, lovely um, vintage MIJ bass here. This is a an early JB600 from Greco. Um, uh, so this is Matsumoku made, not Fujigen made. Uh, this is probably mid 70s. We're s we're saying circa 75, maybe it may be 74 actually. Looking at the construction of it, um, but certainly. Um, wicked instrument. Uh, I'm on the front pickup right now with the tone up. Uh, the tone down. So it's really nice. Bring in the rear pickup. You want to blend it um, not all the way because otherwise it goes into a high pass filter, which you can hear there. goes into this high pass filter sound. Um, oh my god, what happened with the camera there? That's bizarre, it's gone too light. Um, camera, that's better, thank you. Um, and uh, <coughs> this one, by the way, is not, it, it's almost all original. Um, we had to replace the nut, uh, it's been refretted. Uh, and uh, the pit guard is not original. Um, this is a wood laminate one that we've fashioned for it. Um, and this fence as well, pickup fence, is also a brand new one that we put on there. Just Originally it would have come with a fence and usually they had an ashtray as well over the rear pickup and, and uh, bridge. Anyway, we're now on that, that uh, high pass filter. <laughs> Nasal sound, right? And then that was with the tone up, with the tone down. Has a lot of applications for that that sound, I'm sure. Um, and uh, again, if you just knock that back a bit on the rear pickup, you'll get balance. Then bring it out completely, you've got just front pickup. All the way, high pass filter. This is the original wiring in here, by the way. And uh, the way they do that is they have, um, it's the way they arrange where the, uh, the capacitor is um, that allows you to do that. I mean, if you don't like that kind of sound, what you can do is, is just wire it like a regular jazz, but I thought it's a kind of interesting feature and it's, it's one of, from way back in the day, um, 
that was a kind of trend back then. Um, now just the rear pickup on its own. That's beautiful. Uh, that's with the tone down. Let's go with the tone up. <laughs> So it's wicked, isn't it? I mean, what a wicked bass, guys. Uh, we've already looked at the front pickup, haven't we, on its own, uh, toned down again. So that's quite an aggressive sound. Yeah, so um, there's room for it to set up a bit better than it is now. It's set up quite nice though. Two millimeter action right now and a pretty minimal relief. Um, this is very old. Um, I originally put it up as good condition, but I'm going to put it up as fair condition because it has got a lot of dings and chips on it. Um, and there are some blemishes in the back of the neck. Now this neck is um, actually it has it looks like a three piece but between each piece there is a stringer. So technically there are five pieces and this is one of their higher end builds. It's an early JB600 beautiful Sen body um, Matsumoku made um, original hardware original circuit original pickups, non-original pick guard which we put on, um, and non-original fence. Um, and it's functioning pretty well, you know. Um, and it comes with a faux leather gig bag, which is kind of stylish. So, uh, yeah, have at it, guys. I mean, it's a, it's a real good player, a nice road beater, and it looks just freaking awesome. It's got so much mojo. So, thanks for watching. You've been watching the Greco JB600 from the mid-70s, circa 1975, or maybe, uh, maybe even earlier. I'm not sure. It's good stuff.